Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to add image headers to your Google Keep checklist. These are images that I created in advance and I will show you how to do that at the end of the video. So let's just say you've got your images and you're ready to upload them. We are just going to come up here to take a note and let's give it a title. Now to add the image, you're just going to click on this little icon, add image, select the one that you want. I'm going to just change the color so that it matches. I created all of these images in advance with the colors that specifically match the Google Keep colors. So now I'm going to take my note and to add checklists, all I have to do is click here, show check boxes. So let's just take my first list. I'll say email these people. Now, if I click close, it's going to, um, you'll see it kind of just appear down here. What I want to do is actually click on this pin note, and this is gonna keep it at the top with all of my checklists. So no matter what I add to my Google Keep, this will stay right up at the top. So you see how it popped up there. Now to move things around, I can just do a quick little drag and drop. And again, these will all stay at the top of my Google Keep, no matter what. So that's how to add image headers to your Google Keep checklist. Now, like I said, if you want mine, feel free to download them and use them for your own purposes. But if you want to make your own, I will show you how to do that as well. Okay, so we're just going to come here to drawings.google.com. And what I'm about to do in here is pretty much the same thing in Google Slides too. So if you're not super familiar with Google Drawings, you could do this in Slides. You're just going to go to File, Page, Setup, click Custom, and then change the dimensions. So I use six by three. I have no idea what the best dimensions to use are, but this is what I used for mine. So six by three, because you want it to be wider than tall and then apply. So you can see that it kind of changed the dimensions here. Now you can just add your text box and you know make it look however you want. And then to save it, you're just going to go to file, download as, and then I save mine as a PNG file. So um, that's how to do it in Google Drawings. Now, if you are like me and you prefer the fancy fonts, you can do this in PowerPoint as well. So open up PowerPoint. Up in the file menu here, you're just going to click on design and then page setup and then change the dimensions once again. So six by three. Again, feel free to experiment if that doesn't work for you, but that's what works for me. And now you'll see that the dimensions have changed. And now to save this as an image file, I'm going to go to file, save as, save as type PNG. So now once you would click save, you've got it as an image file and then you could you know, come back over to your Google Keep and upload your images just like we just did. So anyway, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know and I will see you guys later.